Intel shares plunging by 26% today on its earnings and cost-cutting plans. But because of its already low share price compared to other Dow components, the decline did not have a major impact on the blue chips, a mere 37 points. And it's also raising the question of whether Intel should be included in the Dow at all, whether it should be kicked out. Joining us now, Barron Senior Markets an Analysis Writer, Paul LaMonica. Paul, it's great to see you. Um, you know, this is... It was shocking to see that kind of a decline in a company the size of Intel and one with the sort of history that Intel has. So what does happen now in terms of its standing in the Dow? Yeah, I think it's a bit of a wait and see, Julie. We know that the people who make the Dow, who uh, construct this average, are very loath to make kind of knee-jerk reaction changes so if you look at a company like Walgreens, for example, it had been struggling for a while before the Dow pulled the plug earlier this year, decided to replace it with Amazon. So I don't think this is a type of scenario where Intel is going to be removed in the near future, but it wouldn't surprise me if sometime maybe in uh, 2025, uh, you know, there is a decision to be made and Intel, because it has by far the lowest stock price in the Dow, it would seemingly be the stock that makes the most sense to get rid of, especially since there are a lot of other chip companies that are much more valuable right now and arguably better barometers of the semiconductor sector that they could put in instead to replace Intel. Yeah, so that, that's where I was going to go, Paul. If Intel was removed, who do you think takes its place? Yeah, it really depends, I think, if they wanted to do like a one-for-one -one switch and replace like with like. So if you do that, NVIDIA is obviously the number one contender, a company that has about a $2.6 trillion market valuation, was more than $3 trillion before this recent slide, obviously. The leader in AI chips, if AI today is what the internet was in the late 90s, then you could see for the foreseeable future, NVIDIA will be the major company in semiconductors, but there are other mega caps as well. You've got Qualcomm, Broadcom, and remember NVIDIA and Broadcom most uh, very recently split their stocks. So they're now in that sweet spot. They're not thousand dollar four digit stocks that would wait the Dow, that would have a huge weighting on the Dow and we wouldn't be allowed in. Now they could be because they split their stocks. And then finally, don't forget AMD. It would be ironic if AMD uh, replaced Intel in the Dow, since AMD has been kind of, you know, trying to play catch up to Intel for a long time. But uh, you've got to give credit to Dr. Lisa Su and what AMD, that company has done over the past couple of years, it's been nothing short but a phenomenal. And Paul, uh, you know, we always like to have the debate about how relevant the Dow even still is because it is price uh, price weighted because, you know, just the com composition of it is a bit different here. So, you know, how should people, investors, retail investors in particular, be thinking about the Dow versus the S&P as they're trying to figure out the health of the market? Yeah, I do agree that at the end of the day, the Dow probably gets more attention than it deserves because it's historic, it's been around a lot longer, it has those eye-popping numbers. I mean, it's the one that trades 30,000, 40,000, hitting those milestones that are much higher than the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. And it's 30 very well-known companies to probably retail investors, but also consumers who may not necessarily be investors. They've heard of probably all 30 companies in the Dow. So I do think that it still is important to this day, and it would be very psychological to get rid of Intel and replace them with another company. But yes, you are correct that changes to the Dow probably won't have that much impact on your investments because you don't have the tons of index funds and mutual funds where people are trying to beat the Dow. They're all benchmarked to the S&P for the most part. Yeah, good point. Paul, good to see you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you.